share this channel on the internet. How you doing, guys? And welcome back. Welcome back to the show. And you notice that I normally don't wear jackets, but here in Florida lately, it's been snowing. Yeah, you heard it. It's been snowing. Look, look, it's snowing. If you guys been watching my channel for a while now, you know that sometimes I get creative and make these uh, do-it-yourself and save some money videos. And today, I would love to be out in the water, but it's too cold, too windy, but I'm not going to waste my time. So, I decided to go ahead and make this do it yourself and change the tire at home. You see this beautiful tire here? Look at it. I think I got some more miles to go, right? Well, this is this happened to me coming back from the Key West trip and now I already mounted a new tire. So I decided, you know what? I ordered another tire that I have right there without the rim. And what I'm gonna do is show you guys how I did it. So for those guys that like doing things on their own like me i'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to change your own tire well i'll mount and mount a new tire on the trailer but this is only for the trailers because remember on the trailer tires you don't need to balance them so that's a good thing if not we'll have to take it to a tire shop because i don't have a balancing machine but i'm going to show you guys how easy it is to dismount and mount a tire on the rim so easy that look i'm going to do it with my cracks on and something that I noticed on the trailer, uh, here on the trailer tires, I was just looking and do you see this tire here, right? It looks pretty good, right? I mean, I kinda, I already have a jack on it uh, because I'm not that strong, but you see it looks pretty good, right? I thought so too, and still I stuck my head in and noticed this, look at that. The threads are starting to come out. So you know what's gonna happen? I'm going to have another blowout. So, I think is the perfect time to show you guys how to mount and dismount the tire from the rim. Well, first of all, you definitely need one of those. That's the air compressor. That's basically the only complicated tool you need, the air compressor. Other than that, it's just brute force that I'm gonna show you how, I, I'm gonna show you guys how to do and with Crocs on. <laughs> um, so let me get going and take the tire off the trailer so I can have the rim and get the show started. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you how to dismount this tire out of the rim and then put on the new tire that I order I ordered from Amazon. And they got a pretty good deal. Actually, if you buy two, you get a better deal. So I did buy two. And then I already have, I already have it mounted here on the other rim. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So if you're like me and like doing things on your own, and actually, I just like the challenge. I don't know, I think it was kind of cool trying to do it yourself. And the first time I did it, it came out it came out good and it's easy so i decided to show you guys maybe for that weekend that you're staying at home and you got to change the tires on your trailer like i'm doing today so first of all you need one of these this is a valve remover tool so you're gonna go to your valve stem stick it in there and you take it off you start unscrewing and be careful because sometimes it shoots out you don't want to lose the the valve because you're gonna reuse it because this tire is not leaking or anything so it's coming and look at this tire looks 
the tire looks pretty good over there right look at over here look at that that's just that was about to blow look at that so here we go with the dismounting show and we're gonna use that right there okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the boat jack and well guys definitely you need a big heavy boat like this one <laughs> because if your boat is too light this tire uh, to break the beat is pretty hard so you get the jack leg as close as you can to the rim so we can break the beat right there start going down close as you can so we can break the beat This is normally done with a hydraulic machine at the mechanic shop, but I don't have one of those. So we're gonna do it with the jack. And step on it here. There we go. We just broke the bead on one side. See how easy that was? Now we're gonna flip the tire and break the bead on the other side. And look at that, I did it with Crocs. And if you guys want to take advantage of the tire special on Amazon, I'm going to leave that link below on this video description. And if this is the first time watching the channel and you like it, make sure to subscribe. There you go. We got the other side off. This other side was a little harder because there's always one side harder than the other. So the beat is off, both sides, right there. All right, so now we gotta fix it. That was one side of the hard part. Now here comes the other side of the hard part, popping the tire out of the rim. And this, the best thing to do is, the, lo the bigger the screwdrivers you have, the better it is. This is the biggest ones I have. And my crowbar is not here, it's in Cape Coral. So I'm gonna have to do it with this, so. This is the other hard part. Squeeze it down on one side. You can pick it up. And you bring it over. The other one. Bring it over. There. We got one side off. Now we go to the other side. And there you go. There you go. Tires out the rim. It was a little bit of work, but we did it. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to mount the tire, the new tire. And that's when you now you gotta use the slippery, slippery substance. All right, so this is just showing you, this is just a video showing you guys how to do this, how I do it. Now, you could try it, but you're gonna have to do it at your own risk because it is pretty hard. But is it doable? Yes. And like I said, the longer the screwdrivers, the easier it is. And the good thing about trailer tires, they're not directional. So you could mount them any, any direction. The left, right, 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 doesn't matter. It's not like a car that you need to be uh, directional. So, let's mount it, baby. Same way. Same way you got it in. Put it back. Now it's slipper because we got a WD-40 on here.
There you go. That's how easy it does it on that side. See? Now we're gonna jump onto the other side. There you go guys, you got it in, we got it in, right there, we got both sides in, now let me bring the air compressor. And something that I forgot to mention, while you have the rim off, make sure there's no salt or sand built up around where the bead goes inside the rim, if there is, clean it off and mount the tire, so like that it makes a perfect seal. And this is a video showing you guys how I did it. If you want to try it on your own, remember, be careful and you're doing it at your own risk. So I use this to create faster airflow inside a tire to pop the bead. So that's what it did. And then once I, got, I popped the bead, I go ahead and use this, this, um, uh, the valve to put the valve back in, tighten it, and now we're gonna check our pressure. Okay, right now it's at 30 pounds. We need to go up to at least 75 to 80. And that's what we're gonna do now. So you see how easy it was? There is some kind of brute force that you have to put because sometimes the bead could be a little stubborn to come off. But once uh, you get it off, it's pretty easy. And like I said, since these tires don't need to be balanced, there you go, I could just mount it on the trailer that I am gonna do. And that's it, we're ready to go. So I saved myself, I don't know, 30 bucks, 40 bucks. But the good thing is I like the challenge. I don't care about the 40 bucks. I wanna, I, I wanna tell myself I'm able to do it. So that's why I do it. So this, that's how it was, I showed you guys. And you know we gotta go more. And something I did that I didn't show it on the video is I have a bottle with half water, half soap. And what I did is I sprayed it around the bead make sure there was no bubbles and it made a perfect seal and there was no leaks. Also remember to use a torque wrench and tighten the nuts on the wheel as recommended by the trailer manufacturer. So there you go guys, it's pretty easy. So this is just a video showing you guys how I changed my trailer tires. If you wanna try this, you gotta do it, but at your own risk. Don't blame it on me if something goes wrong, but I mean, as long as you're pretty good hands-on, you can do it like we did it today. But now for me, this is the hardest part of all, picking up all the tools because you're tired. You don't wanna pick up nothing, but this to me is the hardest part. So let's go with the show. And we got new stuff coming pretty soon to the channel. So make sure to stay tuned because we got lots of new exciting stuff for 2023. Bye.